What is going on, YouTube? We're back here with the March 2023 City Update Refresh. Here we go. This is what I did in February. I did some stuff over there, some stuff over here, some stuff back there. Worked on a special project I will show you in just a few minutes. But I do ask if you can hit the like button because it will help this video out tremendously. My last City Update, which is my first one back, got 48 likes to date, which is really cool. So if we can get this one to 50, that'd be really cool. I would really appreciate it. First off, power has been restored. And there goes the Santa Fe, one of my favorite trains. This little underground, underground, underground power supply here is how I have my track running. So the cable goes from there. So loud. I don't know how loud that's gonna come out. I'll just turn it off right now. The cable goes from there with copper tape to the controller. It works, but it stopped working because the tape like wore out. So I like put like three layers of tapes. I don't know how often I'm going to have to like do maintenance on that and retape it, but I do like that. This section over here, I'll put a train yard there, a little mini train yard. It's tough because I'm on an eight by eight layout. So I got to really prioritize what I want. Some buildings, like if you have big city skyscrapers, is it really matched to have a train yard? Maybe a little industrial section, city business section. It's tough, but we got to start somewhere, right? So I think I'm going to put a train yard there. I'm going to do like a Y or whatever that track is that has like the turn. I forget what it's called. So it's going to go there. And it's not going to be, it's not going to be 9 volt. So like the, the, the switch off track, switch track, switch track will be 9 volt, but it's going to go to powered up because I'm not going to automate that. That's just going to be a pain. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to worry about the one big loop for 9 volt. Keep my life simple. Over here, I still want to put a train stop, train station right here. I think that would look good. So we got to figure out on these, uh, I just kicked apart, on these 16 by 32 plates how to build it. So I'll probably hop into studio, do some brainstorming on that. This section over here, the modulars just cleaned them up a little bit, presented them. I kind of like the way this looks here with the bank, the police station, fire station, cafe corner. And then back there... Ninjago City and Ninjago City Gardens. Let me bring you around town here. Also, that Brick Revolution sign is from my buddy. I highly appreciate it. It was a Christmas gift. I'll show that later. I'll light that up. It's pretty freaking sweet. Ninjago City and Ninjago City Gardens are elevated back there on like those mountain platforms I worked on. And originally, I wanted to do one there and then one on this side and do like a mountain in the middle where the curve is and have them like connected. I still might do that, but that might take a back burner until I get the rest of the stuff situated here on the table. Now, special project, something I wanted to do for a long time in the city is have a red stop and a blue stop, and I did it. Thanks for watching. Just kidding. This is a trolley I've been wanting to build for a while. I wanted to have a trolley in the city, and yes, it's beefy. It is eight wide. I did build it a little bigger than I think I originally thought I would. Originally, I had it even extended another window on each side. I thought that was just too long, but it is rocking, powered up. I do have the battery box, and I have a color sensor right there, and I'll show you that in a second, but the battery box I have kind of built into the roof, so it's somewhat hidden. I mean, you can see the wires. I can finish all that up later. I got to get the finishing parts for it, but it's obviously not done. I just ran out of parts because... Um, that's my part life right there. I got to sort and organize all that. But I don't want to order parts yet for it because I know I have the parts to do it, but I might just bite the bullet and order the parts. But it is hooked up with, I said, the color sensor, powered up battery box. And let me show you what I got going on on it. The trolley has been placed at the edge of the track there. It's going to come around here to the red, hit the color sensor, stop, go backwards, hit the blue down there, go backwards again to red. And do that twice because that's how I have it programmed here in this powered up code. This is over on the Lego powered up app. I wrote this code eight months ago after watching a YouTube video. So I forgot who showed me how to do this. I am sorry, but I figured it out by watching a YouTube video. So powered up app, less intimidating a little bit, still kind of intimidating. So I'm not really a coding guy, but three, two, one, go. And it works. It's going to come around there. Like I said, it's going to stop over on the red. The color sensor is in the front end of the trolley right there. Stop, wait five seconds, hit the like button while it's waiting, and then it'll go backwards around the bend to blue. Now that is an eight wide trolley, like I said, so it might have a little struggle with the curve. The motor could be dying. I don't know how strong the battery is right now. I did think I found that in a bolt bin, so it might need some new batteries eventually. But yeah, it's going to come around the curve there. 
Oh, it's really struggling. Might be. I think it's running low on power. And then uh, stop on red there. I'm actually going to stop it right there. Stop. Stop. Okay. I'll stop it right there so I can just finish it up later. But yeah, in theory, I want to have a trolley in the city somewhere. Whether it's going just up and down one main strip, maybe making some curves. I don't know. I think it'll be cool. I also think maybe like to do like a diagonal trolley if I did a big diagonal road in the middle. But that'd be like two axes kind of. And that'd be a lot of interesting stuff to do in theory at some point but that's gonna do it for this video some stuff i'm gonna work on for the next month is a train yard over there where that trolley is i think and maybe start getting some ideas for a train station right here let me know down below in the comment section what you think i do appreciate it oh wait let me show you that sign real quick i almost forgot so like i said that sign is a christmas gift from a really good buddy of mine and it lights up so check this out so here is that light on medium setting, and that's really cool. Like I had lights in the stadium. This gives like a nice blue light effect over to the whole city there. That's really rad. So I did hang that up a while ago. I never showed it to you guys, but yeah, it's pretty sweet. I'm stoked with it. Again, hit the like button. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Thanks for watching, as always. Bye now.